Lego is giving us a secret battle pack. No, the title is not clickbait. Lego has, without most fans realizing it, given us a secret battle pack that I don't think anyone has really addressed on YouTube yet. So recently, as most of you know, the upcoming 332nd Battle Pack was leaked, and although the community's general opinion has been negative for this set, LEGO has actually given us 5 new Clone Trooper designs without us noticing. Let me explain. The Clone Trooper helmets in the set each have helmet holes, which means that you can put attachments on them. Earlier this year, LEGO also gave us the 501st Specialist Battle Pack, which you may be wondering, what does that have to do with anything? Well, the 332nd have 501st bodies in canon, so they are 100% the same as 501st clones, except for the helmets. So using the 501st Specialist Battle Pack and the upcoming 332nd helmets with helmet holes, we can actually create 332nd Heavy Troopers, 332nd Officers, and even 332nd Specialists slash Snipers. This is absolutely groundbreaking. You can use one battle pack to make five different clone trooper types, which is just awesome. Although most people, including myself, are not huge fans of the new 332nd clone trooper helmets, we can hopefully appreciate this new use for them. But Captain Vaughn is a lost cause. Lego butchered what could have been a legendary minifigure, but they didn't even give us an accurate visor color for him. Anyway, as short of a video this has been, I hope it helps you see past the obvious flaws and terrible things Lego is doing to clone troopers nowadays. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and share this with a friend. Have an amazing day. Peace out.